It's now more important than ever to get students involved early, as early as possible in STEM programs, so much so that the state of Michigan has actually awarded 40 different groups to from the state to empower young people in these fields. One of those groups who received the grant is the Detroit Empowerment Program. And this morning, it's executive director of the program, Brian Piccolo, and a mentor, Larry Smith, join me now to talk more about this incredible grant. But um, as I just realized, the Brian Piccolo, <laughs> a long time over at WGPR. Yes, 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 <laughs> yes, yes. It's good to have you here. Thank you, thank you. We're proud to be here today so we're excited so you have the broadcast yeah. uh, background you mm -hmm. have the mentoring background for decades and you're combining both of those with this grant you receive mm -hmm. to teach kids about the broadcasting well, and, business yeah, and empowering our youth so the state of Michigan they are on a crusade right now to empower our youth mm -hmm. you want to get them enlightened get them uh, encouraged to do better things in life yeah so we have the program here and we're teaching introduction to broadcasting basics along with our mentorship program entitled friends make better friends and so friends make better friends is a powerful statement because if you show yourself friendly then you uh, make a better friend. Absolutely. And so with Mr. Larry Smith here, he's going to be heading up our mentorship program mm -hmm. for the uh, mentorship, and I'll be doing our introduction to basic broadcasting, which my career goes back from 1979 with WGPR <laughs> and Mr. Nat Morris. I must give a shout out to Mr. Nat Morris and everybody at <laughs> WGPR, RJ Watkins, the whole crew. Even yeah. uh, producing the scene, which yeah. I uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> just realized that, which yeah. everybody knows. Yeah. You have an yeah. extensive background there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. And Larry, let's talk a little bit more about the importance of, of mentoring and what you hope that you were able to bring out of that, that uh, Friends Make Better Friends mentoring program. Our goal here, uh, Ms. Rhonda Walker, is to uh, to enlighten the youth, mm -hmm. guidance, yeah. and show them encouragement. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I'm a firm believer that if we can teach our youth critical thinking, mm -hmm. then they'll make better choices, you know, in Absolutely. doing things that they do. If I had myself, if we had critical thinking back in public schools, I'd have been a much better guy. I didn't start mm -hmm. off as I am now, but, mm -hmm. you know, God took me to another level, yeah. and I, I'm glad to sit here and say that, you know. Yeah. Well, a lot of schools, um, you know, educators are realizing that wraparound services are mm -hmm. needed, and schools can only do so much. These Absolutely. After-school programs. I mean, I have one myself, the mm -hmm. Rhonda Walker Foundation. Yes, now, 20 yes. years I've been yes. in, um, wow. empowering and okay. mentoring yes, teen yeah. girls. Yeah. So I know the importance of it, and these kids having that that outlet, mm -hmm. someone else that they can talk to, and those people that can teach things like critical thinking and how to handle mm -hmm. yes. situations, yeah. anger management yes, situations, yes. And Absolutely. so much more. Absolutely. But working in, in broadcasting is fun. I mean, mm -hmm. you, mm -hmm. we, we work in TV, you worked mm -hmm. in radio, but there's so much media now mm -hmm. with social media opportunities. Mm -hmm. yes, so yes, what are you going to yes. focus on and, and who should apply for this program? Well, we're dealing with the junior high school, high school, and young adults. We're trying to give them an area by which they can uh, come and get a skill. Mm -hmm. They might not have a skill. They might want to get into broadcast. They might want to be the next Rhonda Walker. You know, they might, <laughs> Slow you know, down. Okay. Yeah, yeah, they, they might want to be now. the next. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so that's what we're into right now. Just trying to empower our youth. That's why we entitled the Detroit Empowerment that Program. That is fantastic. And congratulations on getting the grant. I mean, only 40 programs across yeah, the entire yeah, state. Yeah, so that yeah. was huge. Now, yeah. how can people get in touch okay. if they have kids that they want to get involved in the program yeah. or mm -hmm. teachers think they have a great student for it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what we do with that, you give us a call here at 313 405 and they can get in touch with us there. And I want to give a shout out to Pop Solutions, Mr. Ashiki Ajamu, for giving us this opportunity. Absolutely. And we really thank Absolutely. you for this. Wow, yes. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. Well, thanks for all you're doing for our thank youth you. here in Detroit. We appreciate mm -hmm. you stopping mm -hmm. by to tell us more about it. And congratulations on, on making an impact. It's all a right. wonderful opportunity. <laughs> thank you as well. It is. And thank if you, you ever need any help, we have a lot of broadcasters that I know see. what we're doing around right. yeah. Yeah. We, can, yeah. we can help. I you know. see. Okay. With the curriculum. Okay, great. We won't teach the class, but you know, we'll stop by. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate that. Thanks for joining us.